What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Greek here coming at you with gameplay commentary of. Um, no, no, no gameplay. Uh, I mean, well, there is gonna be gameplay, but um, this is a. I'm gonna call it commentary on the go. Now, I know what you're wondering, what is commentary on the go? Basically, commentary on the go is when I basically talk to you guys, uh, and I'm not home. Um, I'm not home uh, recording this on my computer or anything like that. I am out doing something, whether it be walking. Right now, I'm currently driving. So, it kind of looks like I'm talking on my cell phone. <laughs> Anyways, so, Happy New Year, everybody. How is everyone's New Year? I hope it was good. Uh, now, what I really want to talk about are New Year's resolutions. Now, um, I never make New Year's resolutions. I never saw the point of making New Year's resolutions. And I get to the point as to why. Um, but first and foremost, whew, <coughs> it's really, really cold outside, number one. Number two, I just had to walk halfway home. So, and I picked up my car, so now I'm in the car, and it's nice and warm, so I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be here for a little bit, so, bear with me. Anyways, so, New Year's resolutions. I never saw the point of a New Year's resolution. Now, I know you're sitting there wondering, why? Why do you not see the point of a New Year's resolution? Well, it's very simple, honestly. It's a very simple uh, thing. Basically, the reason people make New Year's resolutions is, well, obviously, we all know why, because they want to accomplish something. Uh, throughout the year, okay. Now, I want you to guys. I want you guys to do me a favor. I want you to think back. Now, I don't know how old most you guys are, but think back to um, previous New Year's and the years that passed. Now, think back to the years that you made a New Year's resolution, and I want you to sit there and think of if you did the New Year's resolution, if what you promised yourself in the beginning of the year, you actually accomplished. Now, if you're oh, about 90% of the people I know, the answer to that question is no. You didn't accomplish your New Year's resolution. Why? Because, you know, something got in the way, uh, this, this, or that, whatever. New Year's resolutions do not work, in my opinion. I have never, for as long as I've been on this planet, I've never seen anyone actually commit to a New Year's resolution and stick to it. That's it. So, instead of making a New Year's resolution, like, for instance, the most popular one is, I want to lose weight. Okay? That is the most popular New Year's resolution. Now, instead of promising yourself at the beginning of the year that you're going to lose weight, you know, and, you know, time goes on, you forget about the resolution, you forget about what you promised, you know, this, 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 and this happens, and a whole new year comes along, and you're like, alright, this year I'm going to lose weight. Here's my solution to that. Instead of making one New Year's resolution at the beginning of the year, why don't you make a resolution to yourself every month, once a month, or every week if you want to go to certain extremes? Make yourself a resolution at the beginning of the month. Promise yourself. If you're going to lose weight, be like, I'm going to lose weight this month. Okay? And when you wake up in the morning, be like, I'm not going to have, you know, two orders of pancakes. I'll cut it down to one. Or if your resolution is to, you know, improve your lifestyle, get a new job, you know. Make promises to yourself, you know, throughout the year and make them reasonable okay don't go and be like well this month i'm going to learn how to i don't know let's uh say something that's kind of ridiculous how about i'm gonna learn how to uh let's say rip apart an engine block because i'm in the car rip apart an engine block within a month now that's a tough thing that's a tough thing because you can't just learn how to rip apart an engine block and put it together in a month. It takes a long time. So, make it something reasonable. So that way, when you look back upon the year, when you look back upon the year, you'll be able to sit there and be like, well, I said I was going to do this, 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 and this, and I accomplished all of it. Or most of it. Don't be ashamed if you don't accomplish everything, because with certain things, 
they take time. For instance, I'm going to go back to the losing weight again because that's, um, that's the most popular thing that people talk about. For instance, if you're a very heavy person, if you weigh 350, 400 pounds, you know, and your New Year's resolution is to get down to 200 pounds in a year, the only way you're going to do that is if you starve yourself or, or you get surgery, you know, you have to take baby steps. So don't shoot too high because if you shoot too high, you're eventually going to, you know, you're going to get disappointed because most of the time when you shoot too high, you know, you basically, you, you fall short, basically. <laughs> I mean, sorry for the analogies, but, you know, that's basically how it goes. You know, do I make New Year's resolutions? No, I don't. Do a lot of people I know make New Year's resolutions? Oh, hell yeah. My mother, for instance, made a New Year's resolution that she was going to quit smoking. She made that resolution last year. Did she quit smoking? No, she didn't. Why? Because they're hard to stick to. You know, you make that one promise at the beginning of the year, and then you forget about it, or you just make excuses. So, instead of making a resolution at the beginning of the year, make it once a month. Make one resolution at the beginning of the month, you know, and it doesn't have to be anything major. Just something that you want to do, something that you want to accomplish, something you want, you know, to change. It doesn't have to be life-changing. It doesn't. It really doesn't. It could be whatever you want it to be. Anyways, what else? What else do I want to talk about? Let's see. Since I have you fine, fine people um, strapped to my attention. Strapped to my attention? Does that even make sense? Anyways, uh, yeah, so... Um, why am I doing this? Um, basically because I usually, I usually have really good ideas while I'm walking or, or doing something. And, um, you know, I'll, I'll have a really good idea and a really good topic of what I want to talk about. And then, you know, I'll go sit down in front of my computer ready to, um, you know, do a commentary about said thing and I will forget, you know, um, it happens. And I'm just, I'm just, just, I'm just an absent-minded fuck, so. Um, so yeah, so I decided to, uh, to start these because I usually, um, I usually like to drive around the car or if I'm, or if I'm walking home from work or whatever, uh, I'll either listen to music or, or something like that, so, you know, I decided to, uh, to do something a little, um, you know, productive, you know, kill two birds, one stone, I guess you could say. So I'm going to start these, uh, commentaries on the go. Let me know if you like them. Uh, if you did, if you liked them, let me know. Drop me a comment, leave me a like, or something like that. If it's stupid, um, let me know also. Because, I mean, it's not going to do anything, because uh, I, I don't really care. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like and a comment. Um, and that's about it. Alright, guys, I'll talk to you later, and goodbye.